Hey guys, it's Mark and Laurie with Gables on the Go. Hey. Beautiful day here in the sunny Florida Keys and we are headed out to Coffin's Patch to do some diving today. We've got our friend Mike Scala on the boat over there. Mike is a dive master uh, here in Marathon, Florida. He's uh, been showing us a little bit about things, kind of getting me and Laurie interested into diving. We've got Aaron and Gracie up front. And Aaron's gonna do a little diving with Mike. Aaron's certified. We, none of the rest of us are, so we're, we're gonna have to just snorkel or do something. We're snorkelers. We're snorkelers. Observers. But we're gonna learn. Anyway, you guys come go with us. Mike's gonna shoot some beautiful underwater footage, and uh, we'll put all that together and hopefully show you guys a good time on this dive. So come go with us. All right, y'all, we're here at Coffin's Patch. About to get geared up, ready to go. Y'all look how beautiful this is. Look at the color of this water over here. So Mike was telling me the coolest story. The name of this place is uh, Coffin Patch. And according to Mike, so this is strictly according to Mike. <laughs> According to Mike, uh, what Mike, early 1900s? Early 1900s, there was a shipwreck here and the ship was carrying wooden coffins. And uh, the boat went down right here. And as a matter of fact, right over there, hope you can see that behind me. Right over there is the mast of the, the old shipwreck still sticking up. And all the uh, coffins washed up on shore over in the uh, Key Colony Beach area, over just outside of Marathon and they used the old coffin boards. Uh, it was after a hurricane. The reason the ship went down was a, it was a hurricane. And um, they used the old coffin boards to fix the roofs of their houses and uh, fix their houses up at that time. So they named this area out here uh, Coffin Patch. And now it's a restricted area. You can't fish out here. The only thing you can do is come out here, tie up to these buoys. You're not even supposed to anchor. You might can see the buoys in the water there behind me. And uh, it's just a great place to, to scuba dive. Big coral reef underneath here. A um, little bit of the shipwreck left over there on that side. So super cool. Aaron and Mike are going to get in the water and get us some footage. Hey guys, just wanted to let you know all the underwater video that you see here in this video was shot by our friend Mike Scala and he has started his own YouTube channel. Mike has dived, uh, or dove all over the world and he has just got some amazing underwater footage uh, from all over the place. So if you would check out his YouTube channel, you can look him up at Mike Scala, that's spelled S-C-A-L-A -A. and uh, I think Mike's going to try to get his YouTube channel up and running and he can really use all of the uh, new subscribers that he could get. I think his his channel is just going to take off. It's going to be awesome. So if you enjoy this underwater footage, be sure to look Mike up on YouTube.
What are you doing with the corals? I'm taking pictures of the coral tags. Uh, later on, we can look up online and assess the health of the corals. Oh, sweet. They got caught. So you just take a picture of it and they, what, they can tell how much it's grown or? Yes, oh. or died back. Very cool.
Подходили. All right, so the guys are up from their dive. Getting everybody in the boat, headed to the sandbar. That was freaking awesome. My first dive ever. Super cool. I'm definitely hooked. Definitely going to get my certification. Mike's got him a new dive buddy for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hit the sandbar. 